Hey everybody, it's uh, Monday, July 9th. This is the uh, Sun in Midget Hone uh, that I bought from old Doc Culp back when we were doing the uh, air-cooled K88s and K78s and stuff. Uh, he had he had an OC open cart and an open single and a bunch of other stuff, but uh, as uh, we cleaned them out of pistons and cylinders and stuff, he says, why don't you just take this too, you know, and uh, that way you can do your own work. So. Um, Oh, Doc Culp, he's not with us anymore, but uh, his uh, his legacy lives on, right? So we ran it through the uh, the cylinder, like I said. We wrapped the sandpaper around uh, around the uh, the hone itself. We taped it on, right? Wrap it in a rotation, you know, so it turns in the direction you need it to. And then we ran it through the cylinder. Um, it turned out really well. Um, let me uh, show you what. Uh, what the cylinder looks like now. It uh, turned out really, really nice. Um, the trick is the sandpaper itself. Uh, not any old sandpaper is gonna is gonna make a mark in this this Nicosil. Um, but for people to say that you can't sand on this stuff because it's so rock hard, the rock well of it is is so uh, at at such an, a point that you can't mark on it, you can't do it. That's bull. Obviously, that's bull. You can see what we did there. So um, that's it. You got to use the right kind of sandpaper. Um, not all emery paper will work, you know. Um, uh, it depends on what the aggregate of the sandpaper is literally made of. Uh, if it's got the right type of stones in it, I guess. One of your, you know. But uh, that's it. We'll get the motor put back together today, and uh, we'll get it running today. We'll bring you a little video of that as well, and then uh, we'll get the seat back in, buttoned all up, coat of wax on her air up the tires for for loading it in the trailer and all that stuff and then uh on wednesday afternoon richie will stop by at lunch and we'll toss her in the trailer by then we'll have the rig out in the out in the street and uh, ready to go but until you know after we get the cart running and everything then we'll go ahead and finish loading up the trailer with all the goods and all the stuff and be able to get out there today and turn the fridge on right get the old camper can't forget to get in the fridge up to temperature so that's it. Um, hopefully no more update videos other than maybe the cart running, but um, just thought I'd bring that to you. Things like this happen for a reason. I thought I lost a piece of solder inside the engine, had to tear it apart, and then found out, hey, if I'd have kept running it that way, I mean, although it wasn't stuck, it was obviously running grooves in a cylinder. We could have run right, you know, right through the Nicosil or so deep that we had to send it out to be replated. At this point, I think we're, we're okay. Still need to get a bore gauge in there uh, and find out what's going on. I did check into why we have a, a 0.96 piston in here, and obviously that's what came in the motor, so we put the same size piston back in it. Uh, there, That's where we stand. That's where we're at. We'll bring you some more as we get it. God bless. Uh, Godspeed. Again, everybody get there safely so we can have a good time. It's all about uh, being social, doing a little racing, uh, praising Jesus and getting us back safe to our loved ones. So, take care. Keep your nose clean. We'll talk to you all later.